Meghan Markle was today forced to confirm that her father will not attend the royal wedding as it had emerged she is still tearful about the chaos he has caused. Thomas Markle is in hospital following heart surgery days after he embarrassed his daughter with a series of staged paparazzi photographs that threatened to overshadow her big day. After days of silence Meghan was forced to make an extraordinary and moving statement confirming he will no longer walk her down the aisle at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, on Saturday. She said. Sadly my father will not be attending our wedding. I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. The former Suits star, 36, added. I would like to thank everyone who has offered generous messages of support. Please know how much Harry and I look forward to sharing our special day with you on Saturday. Her poignant words came as thousands watched a wedding rehearsal in Windsor today, where soldiers including Harry's former regiment, the Household Cavalry, marched through the streets. The Ascot Landau carriage set to carry the couple was also paraded past the castle, but Harry and Meghan are at Kensington Palace today with her mother Doria Ragland, who is now expected to give away her daughter. Prince Harry's bride-to-be, 36, has still only shared texts with Thomas Markle, but has told him she loves him and forgives him for the scandal he caused on the eve of the biggest day of her life. Her father is said to be alone and upset in hospital after having three stents put in his heart. The 73-year-old has spoken to TMZ journalist Sean Mandel from his bed overnight and he said Meghan was embarrassed and tearful in private. She is holding up, from what I've been told. It has been a tearful and a trying time for her. When asked if their relationship can recover he said, I do get the sense he Thomas does want to be reunited with Meghan. She's no stranger to having to deal with hard moments in her life. Mr. Markle may not be discharged before his daughter's wedding, after he had three stents implanted in arteries following a heart attack at home in Mexico eight days ago. He said, it will take a long time to heal. I'm okay. Staying in the hospital a few more days. Not allowed to get excited. Today a wedding rehearsal started in Windsor without the bride and groom. Mr. Mandel told Good Morning Britain, she Meghan called him Monday when the story first broke. But he did not have his phone on him and then she texted him saying she loved him, that she was concerned over his health and bore him no ill will over the controversy of the fake photos. He Thomas told us we wanted to be there and had a change of heart on Tuesday after speaking with Meghan over text and he felt he had pulled out prematurely. He had originally felt it would be better for him not to be at the wedding because it would cause further embarrassment, he thought, for the royal family and for Meghan, which is the last thing he wanted. He realized, I'm a father and I want to be there for my daughter and I want to be part of history. Ultimately his health prevented him from being able to do that. But ultimately his health prevented him from doing that. He added, Meghan is by all accounts is a very strong woman. From what Thomas has told me there's just love being conveyed there and a gentle approach between them when they speak. Meghan's mother Doria was given VIP treatment when she landed at Heathrow yesterday and is expected to give her daughter away in her father's absence. Mr. Markle said his doctors needed to go in and clear blockage, repair damage, and put a stent where it is needed during the operation. His daughter Samantha, who has a poor relationship with Meghan, claims her father is upset and alone following his surgery. But there is some confusion over his care as sources close to the Markle family told the Mail yesterday that Mr. Markle had already been diagnosed with a heart condition and was due to undergo planned surgery to fit a stent, the same operation Prince Philip underwent in 2011, early next week, on his return from London. Miss Markle's nephew, Tyler Dooley, has said he hopes his grandfather will travel but said, we'll just have to wait and see. Meghan's mother Doria Ragland flew into Heathrow on an overnight flight from Los Angeles and she is expected to give her daughter away. Dressed casually in a t-shirt, linen trousers and canvas pumps and carrying a suit bag containing what is believed to be her Burberry wedding outfit, she was picked up from the steps of the aircraft by a Royal Fleet Jaguar. She was driven to Heathrow's VIP Windsor suite 
where Harry's assistant private secretary Amy Pickerill was waiting with an immigration officer. A member of staff from the private office carried her bags. Miss Ragland, described as a free spirit by her daughter and amazing by Harry, was taken to Kensington Palace, where she will stay until Friday. She will not have long to shake off any effects of jet lag. It is thought she will meet the Queen, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, as well as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, in the next 24 hours. On the night before the wedding she and her daughter will move with the bridal party to historic Cliveden, a 25-minute drive from Windsor Castle. It is widely thought that should her former husband, with whom she is said to be barely on speaking terms, fail to show, it will be Miss Ragland who has the task of walking her daughter down the aisle. Some royal insiders have also questioned whether Prince Charles might step in to do the honors. Senior royal sources dismissed reports that the ongoing family soap opera had caused a problem in the royal family. Let's just say that this is a family well used to personal dramas and everyone feels desperately sorry for Meghan, particularly as it has all happened just days before her wedding day, said one. At the end of the day, her father is his own man and she cannot control him. Everyone could not be more supportive of her. Everything is going ahead as planned. Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister, Samantha, who has made no secret of her bitterness at not being invited to the wedding, launched another attack on the bride-to-be last night. She's not going to tell me that I can't speak about my life, she said. I'm not going to take it. She's way out of her league to tell me that I can't speak. Samantha, 53, one of two children born to Miss Markle's father, Thomas Markle, from his first marriage has given a series of stinging interviews about her sibling. She has accused Miss Markle of abandoning her family, particularly their father, during her quest for fame, and said Prince Harry would be appalled by what she's done. Samantha, who has not seen Miss Markle in a decade, has also dismissed the actress as narcissistic and selfish and has even penned an as yet unpublished memoir entitled The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. Her frequent and increasingly wild interventions have been met with a cold silence by Kensington Palace, although one friend of the couple said they were an example of how complicated family relationships could be. Last night it was reported Samantha Markle was taken to hospital with a possible broken ankle after a confrontation with a photographer in Florida. She was reportedly being driven by her boyfriend, Mark, when she hurt her leg and knee in a car crash. He is claimed to have crashed into a concrete barrier after he swerved to avoid a photographer who had moved in front of their car to take a picture, TMZ reported. Meghan Markle's estranged half-brother is the latest relative to turn up in the UK uninvited and called her a perfect princess's weeks after advising Prince Harry to dump her. Thomas Markle Jr., 51 also said his father will be heartbroken to miss Saturday's wedding as he posed outside Windsor Castle last night. He recently penned an open letter and told Harry, as more time passes to your royal wedding, it became very clear that this is the biggest mistake in royal wedding history. He also described Meghan elsewhere as acting phony and claimed she was trying to reinvent herself as the new Princess Diana. But as he arrived in the UK despite not getting a wedding invite he appears to have changed his tune about his half-sister. He told the Daily Mirror, my sister's going to be one of the best things ever to have happened to the royal family. She will be the perfect modern princess. I wish Meg and Harry nothing but a happy and healthy future together. He added, my dad will be heartbroken that he cannot be with Meghan Windsor to walk her down the aisle. He would have moved heaven and earth to be there. He also blamed the royal family for failing to give him guidance as he embarrassed his sister. He said, my letter wasn't intended to cause her to upset. I'd hoped my letter might shame the palace, I guess, into getting in touch. I was wrong. It wasn't designed to humiliate Meg into inviting me, but more hoping we could get the help we needed. Ever since her relationship with Harry emerged two years ago, our lives have been changed forever. We needed guidance from the royals, but didn't get it.
Meanwhile, with no members of either side of Miss Markle's family, apart from her mother, apparently attending Saturday's ceremony, the bride-to-be's more distant relatives were popping up to cash in on their 15 minutes of fame. Miss Markle's half-brother's ex-wife, Tracy Dooley, who has not spoken to the actress for 20 years, was enjoying a sightseeing tour of London with her two sons yesterday. They were due to appear as wedding pundits on ITV's Good Morning Britain, but last night a GMB spokesman said they had been pulled. One of Miss Markle's nephews, Tyler, 25, who lives in Oregon, runs a legal cannabis farm and has created a royal wedding strain called Markle's Sparkle. The family are staying in a 70-pound-a-night hotel in Waterloo, central London. Meghan's best friend Jessica Mulroney has arrived with her three children, Ivy, Brian, and John, who were yesterday announced as being among the couple's ten bridesmaids and page boys. Meghan Suits co-stars have started arriving in London, ahead of her wedding, set to take place at Windsor Castle on Saturday. Gabriel Macht and Rick Hoffman, who shoot their series in Toronto, each took to their Instagram accounts this week to share images of themselves both enjoying the English capital and hinting of travel to the UK ahead of the Big Berkshire Bash. On Wednesday afternoon, 46-year-old Gabriel, who plays formidable star Harvey Specter on the show, uploaded a romantic snapshot of himself nuzzling his wife smiling just Cinda Barrett as they relaxed by the water in Hyde Park. Yesterday number London number Hyde Park today number guess he captioned the picture, which garnered more than 100,000 likes in three hours and attracted a stream of comments from fans who all but guessed that he was in town for the wedding. The actor's wife of 14 years also shared some images of her own from their leisurely excursion at the central London Park which is just a stone's throw away from Meghan and Harry's residence at Kensington Palace. Harry and Meghan's rumoured matchmaker Misha Nanu has also touched down in London ahead of the royal wedding on Saturday. The designer, 31, shared a black and white snap of herself in the capital along with the caption number woman and Thaco, in reference to her fashion label. Wearing a double-breasted blazer and pleated midi skirt, Misha looked typically chic as she posed for the Instagram picture. Meghan Markle's brother says she will be the perfect modern princess's days, after he wrote astonishing open letter telling Harry this is the biggest mistake in royal wedding history Meghan Markle's estranged half-brother has become the latest relative to turn up in the UK uninvited and called her a perfect princess's weeks after advising Prince Harry to dump her. Thomas Markle Jr., 51 posed outside Windsor Castle last night and praised his sister despite spending much of his time calling their wedding a fake fairy tale. He also said his father Thomas will be heartbroken to miss Saturday's wedding because of heart surgery and the scandal of his paparazzi deal. Mr. Markle Jr. had recently penned an open letter and told Harry, as more time passes to your royal wedding, it became very clear that this is the biggest mistake in royal wedding history. He also described Meghan elsewhere as acting phony and claimed she was trying to reinvent herself as the new Princess Diana. But as he arrived in the UK yesterday despite not getting a wedding invite he appears to have changed his tune about his half-sister. He told the Daily Mirror, my sister's going to be one of the best things ever to have happened to the royal family. She will be the perfect modern princess. I wish Meg and Harry nothing but a happy and healthy future together. He added, my dad will be heartbroken that he cannot be with Meghan Windsor to walk her down the aisle. He would have moved heaven and earth to be there. He also blamed the royal family for failing to give him guidance as he embarrassed his sister. He said, my letter wasn't intended to cause her to upset. I'd hoped my letter might shame the palace, I guess, into getting in touch. I was wrong. It wasn't designed to humiliate Meg into inviting me, but more hoping we could get the help we needed. Ever since her relationship with Harry emerged two years ago, our lives have been changed forever. We needed guidance from the royals, but didn't get it. Their father Thomas has heart problems and yesterday had surgery, so looks unlikely to be well enough to fly to the UK from his home in Mexico. US website TMZ 
which claims to have been in contact with Mr. Markle all week, reported that he seemed alert and coherent and said doctors had implanted up to three stents in his blood vessels. He said, I'm okay. It will take a long time to heal. Staying in the hospital a few more days. Not allowed to get excited. Miss Markle's nephew, Tyler Dooley, has said he hopes his grandfather will travel but said, we'll just have to wait and see. Meghan's mother spends the night at Kensington Palace after being reunited with her daughter as she prepares to meet the Queen, Charles, and Camilla Meghan Markle's mother has spent the night at Kensington Palace after being reunited with her daughter yesterday. Doria Ragland was whisked off to the royal residence after touching down at Heathrow following a 10-hour flight from Los Angeles. The yoga teacher and social worker will now stay at the palace in West London until the day before the wedding on Saturday. Ms. Ragland, 61, is now preparing to meet the Queen, Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in the next 24 hours. On Friday evening she will move with the bridal party to the historic Cliveden House in Taplow, Berkshire, a 25-minute drive from Windsor Castle. She is now supporting her daughter through the continuing drama over whether her father will attend the royal wedding. After being rushed through a private VIP terminal in the US, Miss Ragland flew into Heathrow, where she was met by some of Prince Harry's most trusted aides and taken to Kensington Palace by Royal Jaguar. The presence of Miss Ragland who is extremely close to her daughter and still calls her flower will undoubtedly calm Miss Markle's nerves in what has been an unexpectedly fraught and hugely emotional week. The bishop uncle, an outspoken half-sister and a cannabis farmer nephew, how Meghan Markle's estranged family have turned the royal wedding into a very colorful affair Meghan Markle's family have done their best to steal the spotlight off the royal bride to be ahead of her wedding to Prince Harry this weekend. Never far from controversy, the extended Markle clan have hit the headlines over the past few months, using their newfound fame to exploit the family name. The future princess's family are a mix of colorful characters that include a reformed alcoholic, a bishop, and even a cannabis farmer. Some have even started arriving in the UK ahead of the nuptials this Saturday as they prepare to give a round of media interviews about the marriage. Here we look at some of Prince Harry's future in-laws that will soon be forever linked with the royal family. Meghan's father was a workaholic who already had two children from his first marriage to Rosalind Loveless when he met Doria, Meghan's mother. He worked in show busyness, winning awards for lighting direction, and won £560,000 on the lottery which allowed Meghan to be privately educated. But he split with his wife and left Los Angeles for Mexico after declaring himself bankrupt with credit card debts of £24,180. He now lives as a recluse in Rosarito in Mexico. Meghan's half-sister admits she hasn't spoken to Meghan in almost a decade but plans to release a book called The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. She has launched a number of verbal attacks at Meghan and hit out when she wasn't invited to the wedding. She hasn't seen her half-sister for 10 years. Samantha, a writer and counselor who is based in Florida and sometimes uses the surname Grant, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2008. The recovering alcoholic, who sells advertising, was once married to Meghan's half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr. She was pictured arriving at Heathrow with her sons Tyler and Thomas. They are in the UK to conduct a round of interviews, even though she hasn't seen Meghan for around 20 years. Dooley is documenting her stay in London on a Facebook page Royal Wedding with the Dooley Markles, where she has uploaded a selection of pictures of famous landmarks. Tracy's son Tyler Meghan's nephew is developing a strain of cannabis called Markles Sparkle in the US state of Oregon, known for its relaxed drug laws. He considers himself a pioneer in the legal production of the drug in California. He claims to have last spoken to Meghan three years ago and remembers her babysitting them when they were younger. Mr. Markle Jr. Meghan's estranged half-brother works as a job in glass fitter in Grants Pass, Oregon. His girlfriend Darlene Blount, 37, spent two nights in jail recently. She allegedly assaulted her boyfriend on New Year's Day 
and a year earlier he allegedly held a gun to her head. Both charges were dropped. He wrote a letter to Prince Harry describing Meghan as a jaded shallow conceited woman that will make a joke of you and the royal family heritage. A week later, Thomas apologized profusely for the letter and begged to be invited to the royal wedding. Meghan's stepmother was once married to Meghan's father. She is the mother of Meghan's two half-siblings, Thomas Markle Jr. and Samantha Grant. Roslyn, Nee Loveless, and Thomas Sr. were both living in Chicago, Illinois, when they met and married, but split when their son was 10 in 1976. After the divorce, Roslyn moved with her two children to Albuquerque, New Mexico, while Thomas Sr. relocated to Los Angeles, California, to pursue a career in TV and film. Roslyn who does not speak to Samantha also had another child named Bobby Lucero, who is now 35. Meghan's teenage niece is estranged from her mother Samantha. She lives with her grandmother Roslyn Markle, Thomas's first wife in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She has defended Meghan from attacks by her own mother, saying she has spent years telling her how much she hates the future princess. She wanted to be nice to say how much she loves her sister, but after years of telling me and the rest of the family how much she hates Meghan and what a horrible woman Meghan is, which isn't true. Meghan's uncle, retired diplomat Michael Markle, worked for the U.S. Air Force and lives in Palm Bay, Florida. During his distinguished 19-year career, he worked in Ottawa, Bucharest, Berlin, and Guam, and used his connections to help Meghan get a job at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in 2001. He told the Mail on Sunday how he helped her get the position when she was just 20. The 75-year-old is the leader at the Eastern Orthodox Catholic Church in the U.S., in Florida, where he goes under the name Bishop Dismas. He is said to be a recluse and is rarely seen outside of the church which used to have a congregation of around 40, but is now only attended by the bishop himself 